thanks for coming by. This is Ruben from Dutch Round 1 and I've got another episode for you. Today we will be speaking about the possessive pronouns in Dutch. The bezittelijke voornaamwoorden. What will we do? First of all, I'll explain what a possessive pronoun is. Secondly, we'll take a look at the possessive pronouns in Dutch. And then afterwards, we will also show you some examples. But before we start, as always, give it a like, subscribe if you want more content. And please let me know in the comments below what you are struggling with in the Dutch language so that I can make a video about it and make your life easier. But without much further ado, let's go for it. So what is a possessive pronoun? Well, possessive pronouns show that something belongs to someone. For instance, in English that would be my, your, his and her, etc. So in Dutch that would be mijn, jou, zijn, haar and so on. But let's get a little bit more uh, specific and I'll show you the different possessive pronouns we have in Dutch. Okay, so I'll just quickly place myself over there so it's a little bit clearer for you guys. So uh, the bezettelijke voornaamwoorden in het Nederlands. That is the title. What does that mean? The possessive pronouns in Dutch. Now on the left side you see Nederlands. That of course means Dutch. And on the other side, on the right side, you see English. That's the English version. So we'll focus on the left side first. So mijn would be my. Okay. And then we have for your, we have three options. We have jou, je, and u. You see, I placed a little star there, so we'll get back to them and I'll explain you the difference between these three. Then zijn would be uh, his and haar would be her. Ons, onze would mean our. Again, a small star there. We'll get back to it a little bit later and I will explain what the deal is with ons and onze. Then for your in the plural, it's pretty straightforward. It's exactly the same like the personal pronouns. It's Juli. If you're interested also in learning more about the personal pronouns in Dutch, do not forget to check out my video on the personal pronouns in Dutch and I'm sure it will make your life easier. And then there will be Han. Okay, so I'll just quickly repeat them for you so you can listen to the pronunciation. Mijn, jou, je, u. Zijn, haar, ons, onze, jullie en hun. Okay, so these were the possessive pronouns in Dutch. And now I'd like to continue and take a look at some of the special cases. So first of all, I want to speak about the differences between je, jou and u. Now, first of all, maybe a little hint for beginners, um, A1 level or maybe even before. Um, if you learn the possessive pronouns, I'd advise you or I would recommend you to use jou instead of je. Why? Because jou can be a personal pronoun, it can be a possessive pronoun as we see here, but it can also be a reflexive pronoun. So in order not to get confused, maybe just think about using jou as a possessive um, pronoun. Um, and jou will give you more clarity and it actually puts also more emphasis. Jou really means your. Um, so that would be a good option if you're beginning to learn the possessive pronouns or the pronouns in Dutch. And then basically what would be the difference between je and jou and u? Well, that would be formal and informal. What is the difference between informal and formal? Well, informal, an informal tone you would have when you speak to your friends, for instance, when you speak to people who you're very familiar with, who you know, and so on, that would be informal. And then formal um, would be um, when you speak to people you don't know, people who are older, people who have an important function in society, uh, and so on. Again, as I said in my lesson for the personal pronouns, Belgium, tends to be a little bit more formal than the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, you'll be able to use je and jou uh, faster than in Belgium. In Belgium, sometimes when we don't know the person, we stick to u for a while until uh, the person becomes more familiar and then we change the tone. So now we'll be speaking about the differences between ons and onze. There's actually only one difference. It all depends on the article. If you want to put a possessive pronoun in front of a noun which goes by the article de, you will use onze. For instance, telefoon, 
you say in Dutch the telephone. So you want to say our phone, our telephone would be on the telephone. If you want to put a possessive pronoun in front of a noun which goes by the article hut, for instance, huis, house, in Dutch we say hut, huis, then you will say ons, huis. So that's it. If the word goes with the article de, you will say onze. If the word goes with the article hut, you will say ons. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. So I'll read the Dutch one and then of course afterwards I will read the Dutch, uh, the English translation. So waar is mijn boek? Where is my book? As you can see, your possessive pronoun, you will place it in front of your noun, just like in English. Um, wanneer is jouw examen? When is your exam? What is uw naam? What is your name? As you can see, in the English translation, there is no difference between formal and informal. But in Dutch, you will see jou and you will say u. Again, jou would be informal, u would be the formal version. Hij zoekt zijn pen. He looks for his pen. Zij leest haar dagboek. She reads her diary. Wij bezoeken onze ouders. We visit our parents. Ouder, it's plural. So in the plural, all the words in Dutch are with de. So if it's with de, the article de, then we will say onze, as you can see in the example there. Wie is jullie leraar? Who is your teacher? Plural. And dit is hun school. This is their uh, school. So these were the examples. So very important, you place your possessive pronoun in front of the noun, just like in English. All right. And basically that was it. A short lesson for today, possessive pronouns. I hope it was useful to you. Thanks again for watching. Um, and please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and also please send me some of your comments so I can make some PowerPoint presentations and some videos to make your life easier in Dutch. So as always, for me, again, thanks a lot. Keep it 100. Catch you on the flip side.